the fire had started earlier in the week from lightning up Berry Creek. It saddened us. We knew the canyon was so dry and any fire was cause for concern. We got to the house and Omba unlocked the kennel. I got the dogs in the car with the two kids, my to-go box, and my husband's transplant meds. We knew it wasn't a matter of if. We knew it was a matter of an absolute when fire come down that canyon. And Sheila put together you know, the, the go box. You know, your medications, your life insurance policies, your marriage licenses. Um, we had had a child die and I had his things, his pictures. Um, kids' handprints, you know, or a little painting they did for you. About that time, a reserve deputy showed up to encourage us to leave and he helped me load a saddle into the truck. We waited and then we got the call. Our place had made it. Your house is still there, but you lost everything outside. The hay barn was gone. The shop was gone. All the wood was gone. All Joe's tools, his brand new Kubota backhoe. But the house was still there. The green grass surrounding it stopped the fire. When that tree's on fire, are you gonna wish you to cut it back from your house? Yeah, you know, and make make a defendable space. Or watering your lawn a few feet out from your house. It's expensive, but it's not as expensive as this pain, you know, that's gonna come later when it's gone. And thin your trees. Be a good steward of the land. I mean, when you have a garden, you, you thin your carrots, you thin your tomatoes, you pinch back things, and they grow beautiful, so. Yeah, um, renter's insurance, it hardly costs anything. I would encourage everybody to have it, or obviously homeowners. Most people have homeowners. They wrote out a check and then we start processing. That's not to say that insurances in and of themselves are have their difficult parts, but we were covered and we were thankful, very thankful for that.